So I've been back at work and I've been real busy and I've not had a chance to shoot much videos for you guys. But um, today, the Tesla is up for its first MOT, three years old, and we're at Bristow Autos on Mount Farm. And um, I'm gonna show you the MOT process. So those of you maybe not in the UK or don't know, it's a government requirement to get a MOT test every 12 months on your car from the Ministry of Transport. Right, so we're gonna get it on these ramps and get up in the air. Right here's kind of handy, so we uh, can get the mileage and the VIN info for the car. Okay, it's not a requirement, but it probably should be, but it's good practice to uh, turn off mobile access. So I can't accidentally hit the fob and uh, or, or, or roll the car off the ramps from the mobile app. So we're going here and we're going to safety and security. And I think we scroll down here and there it is. Allow mobile access. And I turn this off and therefore I cannot control the car from the app anymore and accidentally roll it off the ramps. Right, that's done. Like I say, it's not a requirement, but um, it probably should be. And I know that um, Tesla turn off this when you take it in the Tesla for a service and they also unplug your dash cams. Uh, another thing I need to do is put it in a jacking mode um, because it's got air suspension. So we can go in here and choose jack from there. And there you go. Right here, we've got to check the uh, seat belts. Make sure they come out okay. And make sure that they lock. There you go. And all seat belts are checked. So this uh, model's got extra seats in the back I have. So I've got a seven seat Model S. So um, only really for kids. Probably up to like 12, 13 to fit in here. So of course we need to check these seat belts as well as part of the procedure. Right, we just need to do the lights check. So uh, let's turn the side lights on in here. Yes. Yep. Which one? Indicators. Other side. Rear fogs, okay. Yeah. And, reverse. and reverse. I guess we're going to put that. And the hazard warning lights. Well, there's the bonnet open, but of course there's no engine in here. Right, now we're going up in the air. So right here, he's looking for play in the ball joints and the suspension and the uh, steering. So we're spinning it to the right so we can get access there and check inside the wheel rim and the bushes and uh, the joints down there. And all the way the other way. And back across the other way again for the other side. There we go. So he's just topping up the tires a little. This front right's been giving me a warning. It's down to 36 for a, for a little while. And to be honest, I just, yeah, 36 is all right. I couldn't be bothered to top it up. But while I'm here, he's gonna put 42 in all of them. So while I'm up on the ramps waiting, I'll uh, just put a bit of entertainment on, shall we? Let's maybe play a game. Ooh, asteroids, I haven't played that for a while. Awesome. Yeah, let's have some asteroids. Could be a while. Right, I've put it into uh, neutral mode now, and we're gonna check the uh, wheel bearings and the suspension and, and uh, what have you. And down we go. Okay, next we're gonna do a brake test. So I'm gonna bring the car out here, get it on these ramps, on these, uh, 
rollers and uh, I'm going to check the brakes. Wind, it wants me to brake, does it? Back wheels. When's the one with a brake now? MIT certificate. Pass.